before Al Weezy would sit down on the whatever podcast and her introduction would go viral, also be generated into memes that compare her to the likes of Gorlock the Destroyer or Jabba the Hutt. Before Al Weezy would make an outlandish claim like she's a certified baddie and a fat fucking den. Before Al Weezy would make outlandish claims like she's a certified baddie and a fat F and D. Before Al Weezy would spark up a friendship with streamers like Aiden Ross and Neon. And researching this video, I actually found Al Weezy talking about little old me. And next to her, well, I do feel kind of little. That's right, Al Weezy. Now we did a news story on you and uh, the one you're referring to was actually us comparing you to the Spawn Clown. But that went right over their heads because these kids, they were born in the 90s, maybe even the 2000s. We'll find out more in this video. Anyway, today is your big day, Al Weezy, because we're finally getting her done. Now Al Weezy came to the internet's attention in April of 2023, appearing alongside six other girls who were there to talk about dating in their 20s. Now she referred to herself as a badass bitch, and from there, an internet star had been born. Now although the attention she's received, it hasn't all been positive. In fact, it's been like a car crash and everyone has to point and stare, and then from there make a meme, poke fun, and go, what the hell are we dealing with here? To be fair, she seems to take it all in stride and uh, attention, good attention, bad attention, it's still attention, it's still currency in today's market, and Al Weezy is taking it in stride. Now, Al has been active online since 2019 and began cultivating a following as a plus size model and trans advocate, but Al Weezy has some big plans up her sleeveless shirt, and she plans to take over the internet and the world of entertainment. Now, she's also been cleaning up Tinder, pulling in tons of men, some of who want to be known for hooking up with her, and others who want to keep it a secret. Now, there's literally next to no info about who Al Weezy is online. She's been pretty tight-lipped, but being the before they're famous guy, well, I got to work and I watched the limited number of podcasts that she's been on, so stick around while we dig into exactly who Al Weezy is. Also, something I just kind of want to point out to you guys, now it helps a lot if you subscribe when you're watching. I think everyone knows that this channel, it's been shadow banned for years. We uh, we certainly got some problems. Someone in LA don't like us, and they turned off the tap. So the best we can do is hope that you guys support us, whether that's hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video, leaving a funny comment, all that good stuff. Wherever you see us, we're on all platforms. Be sure to follow us. All right, now let's get into this video. Eloise, aka Ali C. Lopez, aka Nicole Aliso. Well, she entered into this world from Arizona, born into a traditional Mexican family. Now, in a recent Aiden Ross post, well, he revealed a high school yearbook photo of Al Weezy, where her name was actually Raimundo Lopez. Why does that seem fitting? Now, from a young age, well, Ali, she grappled with her sense of a gender identity, knowing she was a little bit different, but lacking the words to describe it. Now, by high school, well, Ali began identifying as a woman, though she didn't fully transition until the age of 18 or 19. Now, it was a complex journey of self-acceptance that no one could fully understand but her, and she endured bullying during her high school years, likely due to her being involved in, you know, expressing her newfound gender. But Al Weezy, she still remained creative and resilient. After graduating high school in 2017, well, Ali worked typical jobs to support herself, but she dreamed of sharing her charismatic personality with the world. Now, in 2021, well, Ali, she decided to create a TikTok account, uploading videos showcasing her bold makeup looks, her outfits, and her, uh, well, hilarious commentary. Now, while initially only garnering a small following, well, one viral moment would soon bring Alicia mainstream attention. Was it Alicia? Ali? I'm confused. Raimundo. There you go. Digging a little deeper into her background, well, it appears she was born and raised in Tucson, Arizona, and she was actually raised Christian. Now, she stated that she had a pretty pleasant childhood despite all the bullying. Now, Ali comes from a big family. She has three brothers and one younger sister. Now, Ali never bothered with attending college or to do anything post-secondary. I guess she's just another Gen Zer. I'm gonna be famous online, right? In fact, she stated that months can go by where she never leaves her room and just bunkers down with hot Cheetos and Netflix. But when she gets the itch to party, well, she can go out every night of the week and will be spotted at the local college bars, often with her nipples popping out of her top. My God, what a sight. Now, she's only around 25 years old at the time of this recording, but she's been partying for a very long time, even when she was underage. Now, on the Pizion podcast, well, she revealed that she would hook up with the bouncers so she could get into them clubs. Now, Al Weezy knew pretty early on that 
one, although born male. Well, she identified as female. Clearly, Ali knew early on that the boy stuff, it wasn't for her. Now, Ali's second oldest TikTok post, well, it shows a few of her throwback photos. So let's take a look. I swear I recognize the young Alweezy. I know who her doppelganger is, to say the least. It reminds me of that actor from Orange is the New Black, the guy Brad William. Brad William Hanky. Am I right? Show him. Yeah. Smash that like button if I nailed it. I swear they're twins. Brad William Henke recently passed away, so RIP. Now, outside of being one of the baddest bitches in the world, well, Al Weezy, she works a desk job as a sales associate. Now, in her free time, she likes to cruise Tinder where she matches with plenty of men who, uh, who can't help but swipe right because she's posting content like this. Now, she stated in her interview that lots of dudes, they want to experiment with trans girls, and she never had any shortage of men who are hitting her up in the DM apps or finding her via Twitter. Now, if you know any dudes out in Tucson, Arizona, you suspect might be, uh, well, sneaking out of the house late at night. Well, you might now know where they're heading. Now, Ali started posting to Instagram in 2019 and TikTok in 2020. Now, her first post to TikTok, it pulled in around 27,000 views. Now, soon after, well, she was getting calls from Hollywood and went down to town for an undisclosed casting call. Now, while in town, well, that's when she signed up for the Whatever podcast, and here's where she rated her herself a 10 out of 10 of the reaction the guy gave her what it's so funny anyway clips from that podcast they went viral and she was dubbed over with uh job of the hut's voice and uh things only went uh, more viral from there now ali she faced intense mockery online but she embraced the set of notoriety now her tiktok following it exploded as her videos well they were shared across platforms that of course is when i found her and made some tiktoks and some snapchat videos and my guy I gotta give Ali a, yeah, I think she paid the rent one month. Now from there, well, as I mentioned, Hollywood was calling, but it wasn't in reality TV. Instead, she started getting hooked up with some streamers, including Speed, and the two, they did a live stream. Next up was an interview with Aiden Ross, where she asked to be paid for her time. Now the two, they would link up a few more times, but never in person, not just yet. Next, she was linked to collab with Sneeko, and from there, she then scheduled to do some real life content with Aiden, but the man ended up canceling on her. Now that is until this past weekend or a few weekends back where the two finally linked up to make all sorts of content together. Now they went to a gym, but it didn't go well for the Gorlock. Take a look. Yeah. And from there, she, uh, she attempted to use the monkey bars. Not a good idea. The pair were then joined by Neon as they attempted to try an, uh, <laughs> a try not to laugh challenge. Didn't go well. And at some point, they took to the water for what looks like a more romantic setting. Damn, these streamers are really doing anything they can. Could you imagine? I didn't even think like there's waterproof issues, audio issues. They do it all. And they followed this all up by setting her up with 20 different blind dates. Now, uh, Al Weezy had a lot of guys. Some were interested, but most were, you know, when they took off that blind Folds, not happy with where this was going. At the end of the day, well, Alweezy's fame, it just continues to rise. She's currently nearing 50,000 followers on Instagram and another 300,000 followers over on TikTok. Now, when asked if she's holding out on starting an OnlyFans account, well, her goal is to hook up with Adam22 and his wife on their podcast. Now, she recently took a trip to her native Mexico where she took her antics on the road. Now, she's yet to get a Fashion Nova deal, but come on, this girl is one of a kind. And I'm getting an update here. She actually has over 1 million followers on TikTok at the time of this recording. Now, it's the strength of her message that makes her so impactful. She advocates for trans individuals determined to make the world a safer, more loving place. And Al Weezy, well, she proves being yourself is always the coolest thing you can do. Now, while she tackles serious topics, Ali also knows it's, uh, well, it's about her friendships, her dating life, and daily laughs that make life all the more enjoyable. She's given us lots of those. So, Ali, thank you so much. Much. Now, she gives her followers an honest look at what it's like to walk in her high heels. And yes, the fame, it comes with hate. And Ali still faces constant criticism, but she's handling the negativity with some grace and she refuses to allow it to dim her light. And her reign as TikTok's queen of confidence, well, it's only just beginning. Now, if you want to see more of Al Weezy, sound off in the comments down below. I could likely book her for an interview, probably. Who did we just have? Someone DM us, someone big. Oh my God, that internet guy guy who like uh gets everyone tattooed on his body yeah that's coming soon anyways i'll see you guys in another video Boom!